Welcome into Crossfire, WCSN's coverage of ASU Men's Lacrosse. I'm Trey Lanthier, joined by Jason Chesler, and we're here to bring you your USD ASU game preview. The game's going to be on Saturday as the Toreros come into the Polytechnic campus to take on the Sun Devils in their new home. Sun Devils just named the number three team in the country in the most recent polls. Jason, what do you think coming into this matchup? You know, I don't think this is a trap game that the Sun Devils are going to fall for. USD, they're certainly a respectable program within the MCLA, but this is a non-elite team within ASU's conference, and I just don't think San Diego has too much of a chance in this one. Well, and something else to note is that ASU has been dominating their opponents as of recent. BYU, a top five team, fell 12-7. And UC Santa Barbara got killed by the Sun Devils 13 to 3. So clearly ASU's been getting business taken care of. But if USD wants to fight their way back into this one uh, and, and make it a contest, who's it going to come down on? You know, it all comes down to the freshman midfielder for USD, Aiden Kennedy. He leads that team in goals from the midfield, a bit of a rare feat. But, you know, a bit of a disclaimer against that is the last time the Sun Devils played against a team that tries to score a lot from the midfield, that was the Minnesota game, and that one ended as a 23-6 blowout. Good memory there, Jason. And, and another thing to note is the goaltending position. When you look at Preston Anderson having gotten the start in so many games this year, Brandon Propp playing more of that relief, do you expect these roles will be, will be the same in this game? Do you think Brandon Propp will look at some relief, or maybe even Ryan Davis? I mean, Coach Malone has been getting both backups into the game a bit. Brandon Propp and even Ryan Davis, you know, <laughs> we're all a fan of here at WCSN. They have been coming into games in relief, like you mentioned. Um, but I still think Preston Anderson's going to start this game as ASU looks to really make a statement in those first couple of quarters, and then they'll bring in the backups as the game goes on. Well, we'll see. You can catch the game live on CronkiteSports.com. Just click on the live broadcast tab on that website. For Jason Chesler, I'm Trey Lanthier. Thanks for tuning in to Crossfire.